Hey YouTube, Matt here bringing you a profile from this week. This week we've got Sam who played boxers and here is his deck profile. Okay. Uh, we have the three copies of Switch Hitter, the main engine of the deck. We use this to get Glass Jaw back. And when Glass Jaw is detached from one of these guys, you just get the Switch Hitter back and you run through all three of these again. I've run three copies of Head Geared. Once per turn in a tap position, it's not destroyed by card effect. When it's normal summon, you can put one thing to the grave. And again, combos with this to bring this back. As you can see, everything's orientated around the same thing. I play two copies of Sparrow. You skip your battle phase to special summon it. And as it says, you can skip the battle phase for the rest of the turn. You can still special, special these in main phase 2 and make a main phase 2 the joke or something along them lines. And then we have two copies of the Kalu from the deck. Basically adds a thousand onto one of the battling boxes to help it go get over the top of things. Then we've got two copies of Photon Thrasher. Just generic fours. Help go into other things that aren't Lee Joke within the deck. Still didn't happen very often. Then I'm playing two copies of Tragoedia because of as I'm playing card card D's within the deck, I think I need some form of hand trap to defend myself if I don't get other traps to support me as well. Then I'm playing three copies of DD Warrior Lady. These are basically rogue. Basically help get... Works in the regional. Yeah. Helps get trouble cards off the field and searchable by rota. And if they're sent to the grave rather than being banished, I can use Warrior Returning Alive to get them back works out fine. Then one copy of Card Trooper, just because I wanted one copy of Card Trooper, saw it in my fold and thought I'm going to use a shiny thing. And one copy of Metalli on the Time Lord, again gets trouble cards off the field, doesn't target, immune from destruction, yada yada yada. That's all of the monsters. Spells, got standard one of in warrior decks. So Dark Hole Rota Foolish. Foolish twins again with the glass jaw. Then two copies of Warrior Returning Alive. I use these mainly to get the switch hitters back to hand or if need be return the Lee Joke back to the extra deck. Because in one of the games I'd already gone through all three of my Lee Jokes. And I could Really? Say, yeah. Fuck. I think <coughs> three of the games that I was playing in Twice I had three Lee jokes on the field at the same time. Damn. Just because I was doing the combo and I had one with no materials, one with one material, one that I just made with two materials. Uh -huh. That's all of the spells I'm running. As most people will probably know, I'm not playing MSTs. Just because I don't like them that often. Generic one offs. Again, I don't really like playing Torrential Tribute even though I would benefit from the Lee jokes. Then I'm playing two copies of Mirror Force, two copies of Deep Prison. Then as I want to keep the monsters on my field as long as I can, I'm playing three copies of Wabaku and two copies of Threatening Roar. Basically say no to their battle phase so your monsters live for another turn to make other plays with them. Because you don't always want to be going into the Lee jokes. So Three copies of Lee Joke, a must in the deck. Single copy of Cowboy, because it finishes games. Maystroke, generic stall, flips things down. Scalibur, run over the top of things. Run over Zen Mains. Two Pap Optive, mainly for punishment. Last week when I played Wind Ups, I didn't play Pap Optive, so I played two this week. Uh, Blade Armor Ninja. Standard, it's in a warrior deck, double attacker. Then Gem Knight Pearl, because Gem Knight Pearl, and then Crazy Box. Basically, if I went up against Skilled Rain or if I needed to just sit on something when Lee Joke wouldn't be the best play. And then one copy of Violon de Sigma, because I finally found it and thought it's worth playing in this. Then for the side deck, my standard. Two light, two shadow mirrors. Then I had two copies of MST in the side. I also had my two DD Crow. 
<coughs> yeah, they weren't in the side. Wait, what now? I, I don't have the space for them in the end. Okay. Then, first one of the trolley ones, Full House. I've seen it used a lot on Dueling Network. I know that's not the best place to get your sources from, but it worked on the day. Then, for my fun section, three copies of Trick Creature Swap, three copies of Scapegoat. If my monsters weren't good enough, I'm going to take yours in their place. Things. How am I supposed to find my name? Um, first round went against Bradley. Did awful. He was playing spell books. Generally do quite well against spell books, but they just kept. They opened fate both times. So I didn't really stand that much of a chance. Second round, I went against Riley. I can't remember what Riley was playing. Is Riley one of the um, kids there? Yeah. Yeah. So it was rogue. It was a relatively easy game. Next, I went against Ryan. Again, another one of the kids. So I think that was quite a fun game. Um, so I think game one, game two, he actually put Spellbinding Circle on this thing. So it was sat on the field doing nothing for the whole game near enough. And then I went against Matt in game four. Oh. Does he want to talk about this one? <laughs> sure, game one was just really a bit grindy. I ended up forgetting how Legio works. I ended up mirror forcing into it and then obviously you just end up getting a redeclare on that so I had to deal with a 3000 lead joke and I had committed everything I had so I didn't have any recovery for that. Game two, I'll let you say that. He put three back row down and his Kaiser Colosseum. Then next turn round he decided to play Tanky. Then I activated full house. Scoop phase. And he scooped, because that's literally all he had at that point. Yeah, I would have been left with a Kals and one in hand. So, yeah, I just couldn't be fucked. Because even though I wouldn't have been able to get over what you had in that same turn... I wouldn't have recovered. You wouldn't have recovered enough of it. You have way too much hand advantage. And then <clears> I went against Medolce's first round of top eight. That was Alex. I basically just got smashed because Medolce's just go... You're not on the field anymore, you're not on the field anymore, you're not on the field anymore. Yeah. And that's just how the game ended up going. Cause that's how it should have gone for me, but I just didn't get... I don't even think I got Palladies out against the Ledgeoke, do I? No, but you did go first turn Palladies in the first game, I think. Yeah, with a Kaiser. Yeah. But it's... it just ended up being grindy, so you were just able to get round it. Then I misplayed on the Ledgeoke, which lost me the game. Yeah. Okay, I think that's about it. So I'll be bringing you my stellar profile, as you may have figured out by now. <laughs> then hopefully Lewis is going to send me his winning, uh, no, not Medolce, Gear Gear profile. Then I've got a semi-final with Lewis and Miles playing Medolce. And then I'll have the final of Lewis and Brad playing Spellbooks. So you're getting a lot of content this week. <laughs> if I get around to editing it.